actually not I forgot to talk about my headphones um, these are Sennheiser uh, HD 380 very good headphones that's not the problem but they are close and um, it's idiot when you want to record yourself um, because I was always a bit like that to be able to listen both to my own sound and to the um, um, piano accompaniment in the other read so there's a strange feedback it's really uncomfortable uh, I, I'd like now to to buy um, semi-open headphones that's what I recommend for sure about my um, instrumental setup <clears throat> sorry that's not COVID just tightness um, it's a Yanagisawa solid silver instrument I play them because I play them on the alto and the soprano since 1997. Um, during this period, I searched something else than my Selmer. Um, I played Selmer during 20 years um, because the, it was the period they switched slowly to the Serie 3 series and it was not my taste. Um, not about the sound, uh, but about the, the, the intonation feeling. Um, the Yanagizawa is not more in tune than a Selmer, uh, but the, the, the approach is different. Um, I actually don't use uh, fingerings correction with this instrument, with those instruments, almost not, really almost not, but nothing can be compared with what I did with the Selmer. Um, and during this period, I, I something it's connected to details. Um, I practiced the Arpeggion Sonata by Schubert, which is in A minor, so F sharp minor for the saxophone alto. And uh, it made that all the strong and important notes were on F sharp and C sharp. So it was hell to me. Mm. And with this one. able to do that so suddenly wow it was much more easier to me again it's not really connected to the instruments it themselves it's connected to my technique with in with this instrument it's always a an association of things uh, but the, the the thing was that during this period also the the, the sound of the, the Nixawa was a bit too weak because it was a, a, a um, first model, so they they sent me the solid silver, which brought uh, uh, strength and, and and depth and something full sound and yes suddenly I was happy with that, and now it's a love story till uh, yes 1997. My mouthpiece is presently a concept. This is not my historical mouthpiece. I played during 20, more than 20 years, the A28 Vendoren. I'm more um, open mouthpiece soft read lover than a closed mouthpiece uh, hard read lover. Um, but during a, a search for Dadario um, about mouthpieces, I tried this one and I noticed that I started to be old uh, that I started to show examples to my students which were not so good than before because with the A28 I needed to practice five, six hours a day to obtain pure sound, um, clean emission in the low register. So it started to be hard. Um, and with the concept, that's true that uh, suddenly it was much more easier. Um, I don't think I will continue on this mouthpiece. I will search to my very first love, which was um, a Selmer S90 with an opening of 180. Uh, yes, I, I, I will search. Um, I find my, I think for life, my uh, mouthpiece with the soprano, which is a Yanagizawa SC130. 
um, yes, it's the to me to me it's uh, the perfect mix, but it's always something personal. But for the alto, I'm still searching. Um, my ligature is a duo BG. Um, yes, it's very comfortable. It's a good balance. It's solid, um, and the the sound and this emission is is good. Um, maybe the other one, the tradition, the simple one, uh, but gold plated, has a better sound than that. Um, but with this one, my staccato is more precise, and uh, maybe we will talk about that in the um, instrumental technique topics. Um, I, I, I love the staccato when it's super sharp. Um, with too much tongue, we will say some people. I agree, in a way. Uh, my reads are Dadario 3 Plus. Um, that's funny because. Um, not for the brand, but I switched to Dadario 3 Plus because of Vandoren. Not because Vandoren wasn't good, but because I played the A28 and Serge Bichon, who is the original conceptor of the A28 mouthpiece, um, talked to me a long time ago. You know, uh, he said, um, the perfect read for this mouthpiece is between 3 and 3 Plus, uh, 3 half. 3 and half. It means that the perfect read was um, 3.25. But unfortunately, Van der Rehn does not do this kind of read. Dadario do. Um, so, uh, with the 3 plus, which is in the middle. So, the 3 plus was first the perfect read to me to play the Van der Rehn mouthpiece. Um, and now, yes, I, I stay, I keep these reads, which are really regular, um, which have a, a special supple taste. I mean, there's something which is uh, softer than in the Van der Rehn. Which is really straight and efficient, of course. Um, and also, that's the little story. At the start of this brand, Dadario used the machine uh, used in the old time by Glotin. Um, Glotin um, made reeds, it's a was a French trade. BG is coming from Bichon, the association Bichon Glotin. First letter B uh, G. And Glotin. Yes, it's the, the, the reads of my teenagehood. So the first that I contact was, wow, I'm young again. So that was my pleasure. Yes. Um, yeah, everything about my setup. <laughs> 